So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new Road to Glory on the channel or a Road to Glory we've done even multiple times this year but uh, it's back by popular demand and that is... The 0 to 1 million coins in 20 hours. The road to glory, or the trading road to glory, where I take a brand new account to 1 million coins in 20 hours spread across 3 days. This basically means I'm allowed an average of about 2 hours 40 a day, and I've got to go from a brand new account to an account with 1 million coins this time next week, obviously on the same account. I'll be taking it to 1 million coins by doing trading, investing, rash investing, sniping, SBCs, and so on, and uh, so on and such. And showing you guys what uh, you know, what I'm doing, and obviously, you know, hopefully, you guys will be able to replicate it and make some money. Now, the time I say will go down whenever I'm doing something on FIFA. So if I'm trading, it will be going down. If I'm buying players for an SBC, it will be going down. Um, and yeah, so that is uh, that is how this race lorry is going to work. And I say you're now three hours a day, basically, to make one million coins by the end of the week. So. I think without further ado, let's go and get this timer started. As I say, the uh, Road to Glory will be uploaded at 8 a.m. every single day uh, for the next week. And uh, as I say, we've done this one twice already this year. Uh, spoiler alert, I think we actually hit the million on both road on both ones. I think it was very tight, but um, yeah, so we hit the million on both. Hopefully we're going to hit the uh, million and then some, obviously, we're during, you know, summer heat right now and coins do seem relatively easy to make. But I think, uh, as I say, without further ado, let's go and get underway with the SB. Well, get underway with uh, starting the timer and doing uh, a bit of the old trading. So, let's go and set the timer. Let's go and start it. And there we go. It's counting down. So, we do need to choose our nation. And we're going to go for England. The reason for this is because, obviously, England has loads and loads of leagues in it. And, uh, you know, in a lot of the beginning SBCs, you need players that can offer, I guess, well, players from the same nation, but from loads of different leagues. And obviously, again, England holds that. On top of that, England's got some high rare players. You do actually get Ben Me and Jack Wilshire, as well as uh, Dwight Gale. Uh, what is this? Ben Close, I believe, and uh, Gregory. So we actually get some good, good starting players. Now, there is going to be zero gameplay in this Road to Glory, so it's uh, not going to be like the um, the likes of the trading play. It is going to be nothing but trading, investing, and sniping. So there you go. Let's get that uh, Ramos in. Now, one of the biggest things in these Road to Glories is the kits and badges you get at the beginning because this is where you're going to get your starting coins you know people are always are like oh do you need 5k to start off with no actually these kits at the beginning of the game are actually tradable now we are always looking for is the silver kits and i can tell you for free just about every mls kit is a silver kit um and especially if it looks good like this kit looks relatively nice you know there's a massive target in the middle in more way than one and uh yeah so we're going to go for that one i can ensure you that's probably worth even a k as such so that's going to probably get us kick started and looking at the next kit, I don't think any of these kits are going to be silver. Uh, now, so you can go, you did want to go rare gold kits because, of course, they actually do discard for 500 coins. Oh, sorry, for uh, 50 coins. Hmm. Do you know what? I, uh, just looking at the kits and... Actually, no, no, this is, this is a Japanese league kit. I, I feel like it probably wouldn't be selling on. That, I wouldn't even know what league that is. I'm going to go for this one. I know it's La Liga. I know it's going to be rare gold. Uh, and now we move on to this. And once again, there's another silver badge with the likes of white caps. So it's going to sell on. So what I do right now is uh, we'll show you me in the club and uh, just show you how much of those badge and kits are worth and uh, how many coins we can get from that. So we are going to be jumping over here to the club and we're going to show you just what I mean by uh, the kits and badges selling on. So first thing you've got to do is uh, make these plebby kits and badges. No offense, Doncaster. I think that's Northampton. Congrats on getting promoted. And um, team in the Norwegian League. But uh, as I say, these are quite nicely tradable. So, start off here with Minnesota United. I'm actually quite hopeful on this kit. It's quite a nice looking kit. And you see that the cheapest on the market is 1.5. Now, I'll be honest with you, because I don't want to sit here all day and wait for him to sell on. Or it for it to sell on. I'm going to go to sell for 800 coins. So that's 700 coins cheaper than the next. You know, theoretically, it really shouldn't be too hard to go and sell on. So, let's go and get that listed up right there. Then we got the white caps badge, and hopefully it's going to be the same sort of thing. I mean, the cheapest on the market is 4k. I'll go list mine up for 2k. Again, it's way, way cheaper, but because obviously I have no other means of getting coins, I kind of need these to sell on, so I don't want to list them for too much, not have them sit on, and you know, just you know, wasting my time. So there's the white caps kit there for 200. And once again, if this doesn't sell for 200 coins, we're just going to discard it. Now I probably could sell it for 200, but let's go and discard it. So have either of our silver kits sold on? Something's going to sell on. In fact. Both things have gone and sold on. Okay, maybe I underlisted them. But that's where our first 2.7k is going to come from. 
Uh, now, obviously, I'm streaming all of this, and there is accusations that are oh, people in my stream will buy them, which is why I normally show you what they're going for on the market and just show that I'm not listening for some ludicrous prices. You know, in this case, I've shown you that I've listed them way, way cheaper, therefore showing you that it's realistic these cards selling on, even if I'm streaming. But that is, uh, that is a claim that sometimes happens. But in the, in the same way, it does work against me. Let's just pause the timer if I ramble on too long. But uh, in the same way, it does go against me because if I'm trying to do a method, you know, and people want to copy that method, obviously uh, there's more competition than if I wasn't streaming. So it works in my favour and against my favour both streaming this. But there's that done. Now what we're going to do is the basic SBCs that are going to go and basically unlock all the other SBCs. Um, and then we'll uh, do a little bit of trading after that. Guys, so right now the first trading method we're going to be using on the Road to Glory. And it's one of my favourite trading methods if you're on a low budget. So in this, in this method, basically what you're going to do is you're going to snipe the cheapest silver that pops up. Uh, who's using a league, league SBC, but you're sniping every single silver across that league. Now, this can work with any league. This can work with the Prem. This can work with the League and This can basically work with any league with their own league SBC. Now, uh, I would probably normally have in the timer down while showing you a method, but I've actually just already recorded this method and uh, had five minutes taken off the timer. So I'll probably explain to you guys with no time being taken off, but do know I've already had five minutes taken off when I recorded this the first time, but messed up. So with this filter, what you're going to do is you're going to throw silver you're going to go for a league that has got its own league SVC. So once again, you can go Bundesliga, Prem, the Liga, Liga, you, you know, whatever. And then you're going to throw basic chemsile in. Now, the reason you're going to throw a basic chemsile on is because then no goalkeepers pop up. Very rarely are goalkeepers expensive for league SVCs. You've got a few off the top of my head, including the likes of Baresca, Torino, um, Hellas Verona, I believe. But very rarely are goalkeepers ever worth something. So just put a basic chemsile on and you won't get any goalkeepers because they have a goalkeeper basic chemsile, which is different to the basic. You're then going to go and find the cheapest player that pops up under this filter. So, cheapest player that pops up is 800 coins, but I'll probably look just above that uh, at 850. Give or take, every single silver from the Bundesliga is going to sell for 850. Now, what I'm going to do right now is go and try and snipe any silver Bundesliga player that pops up for under 750 coins. Now, the reason I'm going to, going to, I'm going to go and do this is not because I want to go and buy them for 750 and sell them for 850. You know, it takes no skill in knowing there's basically no profit in that. But the idea is maybe when trying to snipe one for 850, I'll go and get some expensive silver use for the Bundesliga SBC. Let's say maybe I'll go and get a Bellerin, a Berlin, let's say left or right back or centre back. Someone who's worth a lot of coins. Basically, how this works is I'm going to go and make a minimum of 60 coin per player. But the idea is that I'm not going to every single time I snipe, snipe the cheapest silver that pops up. The idea is that maybe I'll get a Paddenborn player. Maybe I'll get a Dusseldorf player. The idea is that you're going to hopefully snipe some of the expensive ones or that you'll get them way cheaper than 750, so there's bigger profit margin. So what I'm going to do right now is, as I say, because they're all going to sell for 850, I'm going to go and sit on the 750 and uh, going to go and snipe uh, anything that pops up. And then, we'll, as I say, we'll show you a few deals we managed to get. And uh, yeah, after two players popping up, missed this one at uh, 350, but this guy popped up for 750. So let's have a little look and see how much he is selling for. So as I say, the time it was going down whilst I was uh, sniping, I just paused it whilst uh, I was explaining something to the stream. So... Wonder Bremen, here we go. I don't imagine he's going to be amazing, uh, going off my knowledge of the uh, Bundesliga, but I mean, yep, yeah, still not popping up. Let's have a little look. Defenders, so I said, we got this guy for 750. The cheapest on the market, or even the cheapest set about the market, about 1 1. Probably going to go list him up for 1k and uh, take a 200 coin profit. Again, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not getting gassed over a 200 coin profit, but when you're sitting on 2.7k, you just slowly need those, you know, all it takes is what, like, what it takes is like 10 deals and you've give or take doubled your coins and we obviously managed to get that deal in the second player that pops up. So, you know, not looking too shabby, but uh, yeah, we'll show you guys uh, we managed to get one or two more. We managed to get loads and loads of good deals. So let's go through them right now. We got this guy for 200. We literally showed you earlier he was 1K, so that's a nice little 750 coin profit. This one, once again, is um, 1K, so that's another 200 coin profit. Uh, you got this guy for 550. Cheapest on the market is, what, 1.5K? Nice, that 1K profit then. Very nice. Well, uh, go 1.2k even. Uh, so there you go, another 700 coins right there. This guy got for 400 coins. Cheapest on the market is 1k. So we'll go and flip that up for 950. Looking good. And finally, uh, this matey, I think we got for once again 700 coins. Uh, are we looking at another 1.2k? Yeah, we're looking at 1.2k. So there we go, not looking too bad. Another 400 coins on that. Um, as I say, we'll do is we'll wait for a few of them to sell on. Might even go and do a generic SBC uh, whilst we wait for them to sell on. And uh, what's been already sold on? No, that was the, uh, there you go. That was the free deal. But yeah, we're going to do probably one of the basic SBCs, uh, only requiring a few bronzes whilst we uh, wait for them to sell on. And then we'll uh, carry on with this method. And the uh, first SBC, and that is one of the basic ones. Uh, literally paid 150 coins for each of these. More likely than not, if you're watching this video, you've probably done this SBC. But if you're starting a brand new account, this is an amazing one to do. 
It's under the uh, basics tab, but uh, it's under the League of Nations basic tab, which are actually all tradables. All the other ones under basics are untradable, but you basically trade in, you know, four bronzes, which cost 150 apiece, which means you're literally paying 600 coins for a premium silver player pack. Now, silvers aren't really worth what they have been earlier in the year, but, uh, you know, they've still got a bit of coins on them. On them. Um, and I think the minimum, you know, obviously all the Bundesliga is there was 800 coins, which hasn't really been the case uh, previously in the year. So let's go and see what we're going to get. Maybe get some expensive player. Use the League SBC. The player that pops up is... Uh, obviously, we do have a Belgian Pro League SBC, but I don't think that's going to be an overly expensive player. Anything else in there? Eh, use for League SBCs. Use for League SBCs. Use for League SBCs. Uh, what's that? The, so that's use for League SBC, or he's used for League SBCs. Uh, a few meh. As I say, we're going to get them sold on, uh, and then crap back in the way with more of that silver method I showed you. Uh, first one right here, Macy at 600. I think we've already showed you him. He's going to get thrown up for 950. Uh, therefore, they're doing a 300 coin profit in this guy. This guy got a 650. Cheapest in the market is... Yeah, there's one there for 900. We'll throw that out for 900. That'll be a 200 coin profit. I mean, it's 500 combined so far. And this guy finally uh, got for 700 coins. Looking like... Probably a 1.1k. So that's going to be a 350 coins right there. So again, even though it's nothing massive, probably 1k across those two, these three players, which really weren't overly hard to win. Uh, but yeah, while waiting for them to sell them, we'll go and do uh, another one of the basic SBCs. Also, we went for players of Salon. We've done this second basic SBC. It is one nation midfield. We've uh, gone and picked up him uh, for 200 coins. This guy for 400 coins. It's quite pricey as such. And this guy for 200 coins. Uh, this guy, I think, was he in the Swedish league, isn't he? No, he's in the Colombian league as an Englishman. It's quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting one. But uh, there you go. There's that 7.5k pack. Uh, on top of that, you can see we've also had some good sales. Already pushing up to 6.3k, which is really, really going to help out with some of the... Um, no, nothing interesting this one. Which is really going to help out with some of the silver trading we're doing in a sec. So, uh, yeah, we'll crack underway some more silver trading. After that, in this pack, we get Martinez. We'll be a settled on. Egan will be a settled on. We do get an anchor as well. Anchors are yeah, still about 3k right now. So, not bad. Probably going to get about 5, 6k maybe back from that pack. So, that puts on 12k, leading us to yet more silver trading. As looking, we sold on a few golds from that pack. The Maguire we got in a pack earlier, 2 2. And then, uh, obviously, a few of these guys we got up here doing the. Um, Silver method, these guys are packed, and there is the anchor. We've still got a fair few Bundesliga sales uh, left selling on. So, back underway, that Bundesliga method I showed you earlier. Uh, we'll go sink, well, 12k into some deals. I picked up uh, 11 deals. Now, I've actually started using a little bit of a different method. Uh, and you want to start using this method when you start learning more prices. For example, let's say you were doing this method for an hour, okay? We haven't been doing it for an hour, but I've done silver method in the past, so I kind of understand how it works. Basically, what you do is rather than finding the cheapest player on the market and then sniping everyone just below that, what you do is you find the highest buy now you can have, uh, with it being silver, Bundesliga, basic, without there being less than one card over an hour. The reason you can't have more than one card over an hour is because, or more than two cards, yeah, more than one card over an hour, is because you're going to use a mechanical compare price back out. So you use the mechanical compare price back out, you're going to press square, then circle. What this is going to do is it's going to refresh the market. You'll see right now that there are new players on the market that weren't there a second ago even like the likes of Teagle. What this is now doing is this is refreshing the market on the 59th minute. This is really OP because cards are all listed on the, you know, cards are listed up for an hour, therefore the 59th minute are all fresh cards that I just put on the market. Now, as a result of doing this method for a while, I've learned who, you know, sells and who doesn't sell. So I've learned that Berlin Center Mid Gettner right here sells for about 1.5 to 1.8K. Therefore, if I see him for 900 coins, even though I know the cheapest Bundesliga silver is only not, you know, 850 coins, I know he's an expensive silver, Therefore, I'm going to go and buy him. Now, how do you learn who's an expensive silver and who is not an expensive silver? Really, you can just do the first method I showed you because you'll be buying and selling so many different silver cards, you'll slowly learn. That, or you can just look at the likes of Berlin, looks at the likes of Dusseldorf, and look at the likes of Paderborn, Pader Paderborn can't speak, because all of those teams uh, have expensive silvers. On top of that, you can also still be doing this, uh, you know, buying anyone under 750 because we still know they all sell for 850. So right now I'm combining two methods. One method of having market knowledge and knowing expensive silvers and buying those expensive silvers if they're cheap. And the second one of still buying anyone below 750 coins because we all know they'll go for at least 850 coins. And on top of that, that's the kind of the method you use to get the market knowledge. If I'm still buying loads and loads of players, I'm still learning the prices and keeping in the loop of how much people are worth and therefore making it easier to do the uh, the harder part. So there's loads and loads of deals we managed to get. We're going to go and get them all listed up uh, and then just keep on probably cracking under with this method because, you know, we've got a nice cash flow right now. We've got coins coming in, coins going out, and uh, yeah, we're making some good money. What I didn't show was just some of the insane deals you get when you learn the market. For example, we picked up this vestment for 950. The cheapest on the market for him is actually 3.5k right now. So I'm going to go list him up for 3k. 
and take a nice 2k profit, you know, which is way, way higher profit than what we had earlier. Sorry, let me get the timer we're running. Uh, we also picked up some other expensive cards. Once again, like the Gantt that we got here for 950. We'll throw him up for 1.7. That's a nice 800 coin profit. Uh, this other card right here, going for 1k. I believe they're not looking too bad. Mm, not looking amazing, actually. We'll throw him up for 1.5k. There's still another, you know, 400 coins profit. Anyone else here? Yep, yeah, Prommel. Picked him up for 1k. And if he's anything like Gantt, he should be about 2k. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to throw him up for 2k and double our coins on him. Now, I say these are just a better way of uh, utilizing the filter rather than just buying the cheapos. It's learning who's expensive and uh, buying those players. And once again, what's this going for? 950, probably can go, sorry, 700. We can go and probably throw them up for about 1.7 and turn over a nice 1k profit. But there we go, just showing you how to bring that silver method and uh, filter and how to make it a little bit more advanced. So we've got ourselves 24 deals. You can see we've been going very, very ham on the silver trading. We've also gone past our last hour, uh, or our first hour. So that is 5% already done. But uh, we'll show you some deals. We've got Arp here for 950. Arp is probably going to get thrown up for about 1.8k. So nice deal on him. Uh, Kanawak again bought at 900. I think he's going to get thrown up for about 2k as well. Nice buy right there. Uh, Iago got a 950. Once again, I think that's yet another 2k card. Yep, about 1.8 2k. Who else we got? He's uh, nice. Yep, Sobata uh, bought at 850. He's going to get thrown up for about 2k as well. You can see I'm basically doubling my coins in all these players, which is uh, you know very, very nice. This guy, once again, got a 900. Cheapest on the market, I think it's about, yeah, about 2k. So, probably throw them all off 2k. Uh, Bonyao. Whatever his name is. I think it's another 2.2k right there. This guy got for 850. He's going to get thrown up for, yeah, again, another 2.2. So, looking very, very good. Probably even leaving this account. Going to be close to uh, 50k now. We're going to do one basic SBC. And then, uh, and then yeah, potentially bounce some silver trading. Maybe we'll even try up a different method. So we've gone and got loads of sellers as uh, well. There's the guy I got for 900, I think. These, literally all of these obviously were bought for 900 or below. So you can see some pretty, pretty nice sales in uh, in the likes of those. And uh, yeah, as I said, just still need to get around and sell them the, uh, the silvers we just previously bought. So we've done the last of the uh, the SBCs. A little bit pricey at the moment. Uh, 500 for those two. Uh, 500 for those two. And 750 for those two. So about 1.7, 1.8K. That's going to go and give us a 7.5K pack. And we get a uh, mix pack for doing the whole thing. So a little bit more expensive than what they normally cost. But, um, you know, still worthy of doing anyway. So we've got about three hours now till 6pm. Uh, so we'll do a little bit of trading, obviously. A little bit of trading, a little bit of SBCs between now and then. And, uh, you know, try and build up our coins ready so we can ration invest. But, uh, yeah, obviously we've had one hour, 15. And about half our quota already today. But uh, maybe we'll spend a few, you know, maybe spend next an hour in episode one, just because obviously we need to, uh, you know, work the initial coins up. We did get, Ju yeah, I mean, PewDiePie in the first one. That's not an amazing, not an amazing pack. That wasn't the 7.5, was it? Oh, it was. Oh, not amazing. Well, we'll get rid of these because these don't really do anything. Keep the Maestro uh, and we'll sell that all in a sec. Now we've got the other pack, which gives us four red golds, four red bronzes, four red silvers. Let's see, what are you going to give us then? Not the rare gold then. So... In that pack, do we get an expensive bronze or silver? Obviously, all silvers aren't worth a little bit. Chill World's worth a bit, he's worth a bit, he's worth a bit, and he's worth a bit. That's actually a, that's actually a really good mix pack. We're going to get that all sold on. And, uh, yeah, crapping away with probably a little bit more silver trading before we start moving on the way with another method. Well, for, uh, well, by no surprise, loads of deals. Let's get that timer running. We are coming close to spent or two, well, two of our hours, so 10% of the time. Loads and loads of cracking deals here. Most importantly, this guy right here. Berlin Strikers got me one of the most expensive silver cards in the Bundesliga, got him for 400 coins. Survey says, I think the best part of about 3.3.5k right there. Not bad. So we're going to get, oh, oh look, wait, there's 1.8 there. One so let me go and, in fact, in fact, let me just do this quickly. Just because I want to check some quickly. Uh, Berlin Striker. So far, I've not been mugged off by thinking they're all super expensive. Okay, 2.8. Okay, next cheapest on the market. Okay, no, there was one there for 1.8, uh, but I think he got bought and sold very fast for 2.8 then, so I should have picked it up for 1.8, but yeah, going for 400 coins, and they're selling for a very comfortable, I'd say, about 3.2k, so yeah, about uh, even more than that. I'm trying to work out how many times uh, I bought him for. Yeah, yeah, so we should get comfortable with 3.5k, so get about nine times what I bought him for, so yeah, loads and loads of great uh, buttons and legal buys. Again, I'm probably going to stick at it for the next hour. Um, because it's pretty safe to do. And then uh, we'll do some SBCs between 5pm to 6pm. Good deal on the likes of Agrest. And again, I showed you he sold for 3.5k earlier. Well, uh, we've just managed to get one of him for 200 coins. <laughs> it's insane. Absolutely insane. Managed to get him for 200 coins. He's going to go up for 350. 
Sorry, 3.5k. Also managed to get a few Vespans here. One at 1.7, one at 850, and one at one eight. They sold for 3k earlier. Pit up three of this guy for 950. I think we're gonna get what 150 a piece. Oh, we might have a few more buys here. Here you go. 1k. Oh my, my, my. I maybe could have even bought that if I wasn't with him. But again, uh, there's one there for 1.4. But apart from that one there for 1.4, they all love 2k. So let's even go and pick that one up. Uh, I'll go and get them all listed up at 1.9k, therefore making up about 1k average per car. But loads of buys right there. Now we've got about an hour and a half till 6pm. So what I'll probably do right now is crack underway some advanced SBC and just let stuff sell on. Because the last thing I want to do is buy loads of stuff before 6pm. Leave myself no coins for 6pm. And then have nothing to rash invest if there's really good opportunities. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let all these silvers sell on and just do some SBCs. And we should really just see our coins grow and grow and grow. Maybe up to about 100k ready for 6pm. But yeah, we're coming into the uh, first two hours. And it's uh, looking really, really good. Of course, we have to average 50k an hour to make the 1 million over 20 hours. So, yeah, looking pretty, pretty good so far. So, we're starting to do the advanced SBCs with uh, 1 hour 20 till 6pm. And uh, yeah, we've gone and done this one, and it's going to cost us 8.8k to go and do a prime gold pack. Bear in mind, give or take every gold in this game is worth about 1k right now. That is guaranteeing about 12k, let alone if we can get obviously any good players, any fancy players, or uh, anything of high rating. So let's go and see what we're going to get in the prime pack. It is at least a boards. It is a man of the match or Halloween player. I can never keep up. It's a man of the match. It's Dutch. Rhyming. Oh, it's Burgers. Okay. He's an 85 rated man of the match, so uh, 86 rated man of the match, even better, brilliant. So, there anything in it with uh, Bergwitz, anything above 82 rated is worth good money, but not really. I mean, De Jong will sell on, Reculon will sell on, Bernat will sell on. Um, yeah, and obviously we'll profit a little bit off this one, but not bad. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go and uh, list these players up and probably go underway with the expensive uh, SBC uh, from the advanced nations. So it's not a cheap one, but it does give us the 50k pack. This is a 23.8k, including the position changes SBC. Very, very expensive, but obviously it does give you a 50k pack, and all it takes is one or two specials for you to get some good. Also, once you do the whole set, it is going to give you that rare mega pack. So we're sitting on 13k, um, and you've just got loads and loads of cards selling in the background. So please, please can we get very lucky? Because uh, that is an expensive SBC not to get lucky on. Okay, that's a boards. Is another man of the match? Is Ukrainian? Oh, it's Marlos. Okay, is it an 86 rated Marlos, hopefully? Please don't be like an 84. Oh, it's 84 Marlos. Hopefully we haven't Marlos some coins, but come on. I don't know where else can be in there. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not that bad, actually, because we've got a Sergio Roberto. That's another 6k. We've got a Lindelof, I think that's 3k, another 2k there. Uh, Milik is going to... It's not an amazing 50k pack, but I think that's my money back at least. Um, yeah, I'd say, once we complete all the advanced SBCs, we are going to get a rare mega pack. So, not amazing, but, uh, you know, not that bad. Bear in mind, Marlos was our, uh, our token player. So, the next SBC has given us... Uh, well, the next SBC has cost 4.1k. That's going to give us a gold players pack. May not look amazing, but every gold player is generally selling for about 1k right now. So that's a minimum of 12k. We're going to be about at 12k. Um, even though, again, it's probably nothing amazing in this pack. It's just a bunch of non-rares. Though, can we get a board? It'd be, uh, oh, we are going to get a board. Well, I guess in those non-rares, a lot of non-rares maybe have special cards. It's a foot birthday. It's French. It's a left mid. It's Lamar Lamar. That's not bad whatsoever. Obviously, it could have been a Bappe or Maxim or... I don't know, Pobber or something, but that is uh, it's quite the result for a gold rare pack. It's 25k. Not bad whatsoever. Are we going to get anything else in that? Bear in mind that pack generally costs 4k. Anything in there with Lamar Lamar? I mean, high rated with the likes of Mustafi, he will sell on, Schick will sell on, Austin will sell on, but uh, yeah, not too bad. It's going to be about 30k. Uh, we got that last SBC, and then uh, yeah, we're ready for 6pm. Loads of sales. I think we've got about 42 sales right there. There's the uh, Lamar Lamar selling on loads and loads of the golds from SBCs. And uh, hopefully, having a lot of our silver uh, Bundesliga players. Yep, there you go. We've got uh, Kenny selling on. There's some of the strikers we bought earlier. So there's Bournemouth, there's Baku. Some other silver right there. Some Oliver Aries you saw me buy at 1k. So we're not looking too bad. We're on 82k. Uh, with some expensive golds right here. Loads and loads and loads of silvers selling on. So, yeah, the accounts are very healthy. In fact, we're probably sitting on about 100, 120, 130k right now, which is probably you know, as much as we, you know, should be on right now. Bear in mind, you need maybe 50k an hour. But we're going to go and do that last advanced SBC. And I think the next thing you guys will see from us will be some 6pm rash investing. SBC of the uh, episode. And this is uh, this SBC is going to cost us 3.1k. It's only going to give us an Electrum pack. 
that is not matter because it gives us a rare mega pack with that and uh, i say what we'll do is we'll open up these packs we'll get it sold on and we've got 10 minutes till 6 p.m which we'll be making our uh, hopefully our first rash investments and making some good money so let's go and get these opened up and then uh yeah Bring on 6 p.m. So the election pack game only costs us 3.1k. So if we get a board out of this, this would be uh, quite impressive. But no, we don't even get a rag. Well, don't even get a rag or whatever. So what are we going to get? Maybe some expensive silvers. Obviously, hey. Oh, no, it's an election, isn't it? So yeah, all these golds are worth something. He's obviously in the La Liga as well. Only 1.3. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy there. But it is the rare mega pack. Here we go. Theoretically... What is this? A bigger pack than the 50k pack. So let's see if we can get something good out of it then. Come on. Okay, that's at least a board. It's... Uh, it's not even a war count. It's a man of the match that isn't a war count. That's sad. Uh, it's... Um, oh, no, it's a... Uh, sorry, yeah, Dumfries, of course. Not a man of the match, you see. UEL. That's awful, man. Awful. Maybe get some high rateds in there. Uh, okay, wow. Okay, we get Kimpembe. Kimpembe, 7k. Ramsey's 4k. Pacheo's a little bit of coins. It's okay, uh, nothing massive, but then in the end of the day, if there's nothing massive, well, then it can't get carried. There you go, we got gold packs. Let's go and store all this in the pack, and uh, yeah, go and get our gold pack. That's not too bad, though. Uh, as I say, it'll bring us up over 100k ready for 6pm, and the gold pack's not going to have anything. So, that's that. We've got about 10 minutes to go and sell on a bunch of those players, and then uh, we shall see you at 6pm with, uh, yeah, see what we can make. So we have got ourselves about 10 seconds to 6pm and the reason 6pm is such a relevant time is because that is when content is dropped and we've got 112k. Uh, what you can basically do is you can see what EA is going to release and in turn you can go and invest in it. So we've got Bernardo Silva, we got that, uh, Vanessa Junior matches, obviously all well, this was uh, prior. 88 before, 5020 we had that before, Community Challenge, that's new. Uh, best... Oh, pie bag. There you go. That's uh, been released today. Marky matchups. Okay, so I'll be honest with you. First thing I'm going to check is actually going to be this SBC. Um, just because this SBC will probably be more affordable for me. Uh, players from the same league, maximum two. Okay, I mean, clubs, minimums, uh, nationalities. That's okay right there. Let's have a little look what this SBC wants. Hopefully, it isn't bad. Let's have a little look. A lot of people are saying rip, so it could potentially be. Oh, wow. An 81 and 82 rare team. Oh, very low chemistry. So, so basically, the cheapest 81 and 82s of their ratings are going to do very well with this one. That's uh, very interesting. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to look at the cheapest 82s on the market and the cheapest 81s. I'm going to go and invest in them because what people have done is they've invested in players who offer high chem, which is sadly what I've recommended people to buy. But what's actually going to do best is the just like goalkeepers and stuff like that because you don't need any chemistry for it. So, what I'm going to do is look at the cheapest on the market per rating and uh, just gonna go and buy loot of them so let's go and buy a bunch of Luke de Jong's a Luke de Jong's cheap he's a non-rare let's have a look at Luke LWK Luke de Jong and are you cheap or not yep you're cheap enough so let's go and pick some up I uh, say so we got 100 we got like 1.2 mil to go and buy but Basically, what I would recommend, or what I would recommend people to do, would go and buy the cheapest of each, cheapest of their rating, because if they're the cheapest of their rating, they're probably going to make the cheapest scenario and uh, do quite, quite well. So, let's go pick me up some loot. Do you want? Wow. Okay, that's uh, that's inflated. As a good thing is, well, I'm not going to have to worry about, um, I'm not going to have to worry about investing in too many players. It's probably going to be about what, if I had 120k and I'm investing at 30, that means after all I have to do is buy 40 cards. So. It's gonna be a nice, nice chilled investment, but um, I'd say because of the um, because of the low chemistry, it's all about just some of the cheapest for their rating because people just need rating and they'll carry. Um, looking at it, I'd say I quite like Luke Dion because he was on you know a non rare as such. Um, maybe look at some of the cheapest eighty ones even because I mean we've already invested over half our coins, so why not look at some eighty ones right now? Uh, eighty ones, okay. Yep, yeah, you'll do well. Uh, once again, going off of the going off of the untradeable theme, Danny Garcia. Uh, you as cheap as you say you are? No, I had a feeling he wasn't. Uh, Lialic isn't going to get any chemistry to anyone. Giovinco is not going to get great chemistry. Rafinha is going to be okay. Fernando is going to be okay. Uh, Weghorst. Dan is un is non rare. Let's go pick up a Fonte. Probably isn't madly needed, but he is non-rare. And again, non-rares, because they have way less supply on the market than rares, uh, we can see him doing well. He's also only like 400 coins more than the cheapest uh, 81s, so 
even though you don't need high chem, I could still see him potentially doing pretty, pretty well. So Fonte is going to be our second investment. Let's see how many of these we can go and buy. As I said, I kind of like to invest in as little people as possible because it just means I have to track as little players as possible. There we go. All right. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll come back in about 20, 30 minutes and we'll uh, show you how well the investments have done. It's worked out really, really well, actually. Uh, still got to sell a few players on, but once again, the Fabregasses I bought at 1.5. They're sold on for 2.9 right now. Uh, the De Jong's we bought for 3k, I sold for 4.7, 4.9. And uh, the Fonte, uh, well, we haven't really sold the Fontes yet, but they're not looking too bad. There you go, still got Fambregasses, still got a few De Jong's, uh, still got another card, 10 cards on the side. So very happy our 6pm's gone. Go and get them wrapped up, and then we'll probably call it an end of the episode, because we're already over three hours, which is kind of what we're uh, allotted each day. So I think that is going to be us done for the day. So we spent three hours and nine minutes today. And these, this is the positioning of the account. We're on 204k, which is uh, just absolutely uh, insane. But on top of that, we've just got so, still, so, still, 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 basically got a lot of stuff selling on. Uh, in fact, we've probably got another like 30k worth of players here. In terms of silvers, you know, we're probably sitting on like 30k right here. So I'm probably sitting on about 260k, I'd imagine. Uh, once everything sells, which 260k is where we should be after over five hours, let alone just over three hours. So we're looking really, really nicely. Uh, we're looking, you know, basically the positioning account is looking really, really well. Now, I'm not going to lie. I really do think I should be able to easily hit the million within uh, 20 hours. I'd say we've done it literally twice before and arguably we're in a position of FIFA where it's easier than ever to make coins. So I'm hoping maybe we make 1.5 even for close to uh, 2 mil because obviously the starting coins is normally where the slow coins are even though I guess we've had a, a little bit of a carry via some SBCs. But that is how it's going to be for day one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully you've, you know, I guess, learned the silver trading method. I guess observed. I mean, advanced SBCs, everyone's done. But really should also seen how well 6pm can uh, run off. But there we go. That is how 6pm has run. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first episode of 1 million coins in 20 hours. I can't speak. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I shall see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode where hopefully we'll be able to creep to, uh, I guess, 500k.